So every year we run a field trip from the University of Manchester in comparative and adaptive physiology. We come to the island of Mallorca um, and stay in a, in a resort called the Port del Cudio, which is in the northeast of that island. Although it's a tourist resort and we're staying in a tourist hotel, the reason we come here is because this is a biodiversity hotspot with a rich history, both in terms of evolution of plants and their adaptations to the environment, the harsh environment that we find here. Over the course of seven days, students will be taken to visit a number of different sites around the island. We'll carry out a number of different ecological surveys using different surveying techniques. The students will have a chance to apply some of the statistics that they've already learned in Manchester to solving biological problems. We look at contrasting habitats which face different um, degrees of extremeness of their conditions. So for example, some of the sites we visit will be extremely dry and hot. Others may be exposed to saline conditions, salty conditions. So we will visit, for example, very dry, arid areas on the north coast. Um, we will visit sand dune systems. And we even go and visit some areas of, of oak woodland ar around some ancient monuments. So during the course of the week, you will encounter a number of different organisms. We typically introduce students to something in the region of 40 to 50 different plant species, which they'll come to know with different degrees of intimacy as the week goes on. This is day three of the Comparative and Adaptive Biology course in Mallorca and we've got a gorgeous uh, weather here for coming along to the Formentor Peninsula which is right at the end of the Tramontana mountain range in the, uh, on the northern side of Mallorca. Um, it's uh, a beautiful set of limestone cliffs and we've come here to have a look at some of the endemic species, particularly the very unique hedgehog plants um, which are found growing amongst the rocks here. So we're staying, we're staying at the edge of one of the most important national parks in this part of the world, um, the Albufera National Park. It's day four of the New York field course. Uh, we're here in the Albufera National Park, which is a wetland where we get an annual interplay between salt water and fresh water. Uh, so there's quite a lot of biodiversity here, both plant and animal. So we've seen Although up till now we've seen mainly plants, we've seen quite a lot of animals here today, a lot of migratory bird species use, use this wetland to breed and feed. So this afternoon we've come, we've moved from the Albufera to the beach next door at Can Pickerfort and we're standing at the edge of a sand dune system which is quite different to sand dune systems that the students will have met if they've done ecological studies in the UK. This sand dune system has been here for about six or seven thousand years and it protects the salt marshes behind from the encroachment of the sea. On day five of this uh, Mallorca field course on uh, uh, plant ecology, we've uh, come to this Talioic site uh, of Ses Paises in Mallorca, which is a Bronze Age settlement. Um, and these Bronze Age settlements are spread throughout the Western Mediterranean. They all had a central uh, a tower about which the settlement was built. And the room I'm stood in is called a hyperstyle room. It has a a stone pillar here which would have supported a wooden roof. 
this site, which was in its heyday completely treeless, is now covered by the whole moak, which is the other uh, dominant tree that we find in Mallorca, apart from the Aleppo pine. So I'm stood under a whole moat Quercus ilex at the moment. But there are also a number of uh, interesting woodland plants which we find. This is a much more shaded site uh, and a, a wetter site than any that we've been to in the past. We are here in Cala Estrata and then today we are going to do some tree exercise but at, at the same time we can see lots of beautiful orchids here and this is really fine example of so fly orchid you can find in the Mediterranean Sea and this area. What's special about this orchid is that they mimic the female uh, bees and then the male bees they are confused and they um, try to mate this flower and then at the, at the same time they pollinate this orchid. Having looked at a number of different places in the western Mediterranean, uh, we plumped for Mallorca, which has um, a, a very diverse flora, lots of different habitats, and yet is readily accessible by air from Manchester. When we first came about 30 years ago, we came to the north shores of Mallorca and we found that uh, this was a very promising area because at the time it was relatively unspoiled. Since we've been coming, the area has now been extensively covered by uh, a development, particularly at Can Picafor and uh, Port d'Alcudia, for building of hotels. So there's a lot of tourism, which wasn't here 30 years ago, has now come to the north coast of Mallorca. And so we find ourselves coming that bit further away to get to the natural vegetation. In the course of that time, we've got to know the best places to go and the plants of special interest, which are, some of which are due to their adaptations to the uh, Mediterranean climate and others are due to their long history of separation from mainland Spain. And one of these sites is here on the estate on San Real, which is also famous for the necropolis from the Talioic settlements something like three or four thousand years ago, Bronze Age necropolis. In the second half of the course, students will carry out group-based projects. Typically working in groups of three, they will, over about a two-day period, come up with an idea, design some experiments to contest that idea, they will go out and do field work, and they will then present their findings to the rest of the group in an oral presentation, also producing a write-up when they return to Manchester. The sort of projects people do might involve surveying plants, watching birds, um, or carrying out plant physiology experiments which will require them to collect plants, make measurements on them, and possibly analyse them back in the lab that we set up in the hotel. Our project is comparing the leaf morphology of the common myrtle between exposed and sheltered areas on the mountainside. Our team did our project about the distribution and abundance of bird species in the Albufeira bird sanctuary. Our project is on looking at the difference um, in insect communities between two aromatic shrubs that are, smell different to us and we want to see if they smell different to the insects they're trying to deter. For our project we're looking in to see whether two specific hemiparasites that we've chosen, Bellardia trixago and Parenticellia viscosa, have a higher affinity for specific hosts. Our group decided to investigate if there was a relationship between the density and the pollination success of orchids. Our team studied the responses to heat stress of Cystus albidus and Cystus montpelliensis. So we can't guarantee that you'll get perfect sunshine, but usually we get some decent weather early in the year and most students who come here go away thinking that this is the best thing they've done all year. Mm -hmm.